Did you know that you can automatically create a marketing scorecard from a form fill inside of high level? I recently found this feature and it is so, so cool. So I want to show you. So it's super simple. All you have to do is go to your agency view inside of high level and select the prospecting tab here on the side. And if you aren't on the premium prospecting plan, you're going to have to upgrade to that. It's an additional $29 a month, but it gets you this widget feature, which is very cool. So if you're not upgraded, you're going to have a widgets button here, and it's going to look like this. When you click on that button, just click there, upgrade your account, and then you'll be able to follow the rest of this tutorial. So just so you know what type of report we're actually going to be creating here, you can see this is one I just made for a rage room in my home city. If I hit show report, we have this overall score here at the top 44% business details, the techno stack listings showing what they're listed on or what they're not listed on. And if they match or not, for example, here, really, they should have the sweet D on all of these to help with SEO online reputation, which looks like for this particular one, I wasn't able to pull the reviews for some reason. Sometimes that happens. Then you've got website performance and then lastly SEO analysis. So this is the report that's going to be created with the widget that we're about to create. And real quick before I show you the widget, one really cool feature here on this page is when you've created this, whether you create it yourself or somebody submits through the widget, you can just hit this button convert to sub account and it's going to create that sub account automatically for you based on this. So it says you've successfully made a new client. Let's keep prospecting for more. You hit confirm, you can stay here. And then if I come up here and search smash it rage rooms you can see that was already created and then I can go in and load a snapshot into that or do something else if I want to. And what's great about the widget is previously you would have to go in to add a prospect and you'd have to look them up manually in here, let's say rage room in New York, and you'd have to submit this yourself, save the prospect, it would generate the report, and then you have to send it manually to the business owner or your point of contact there. But now you can generate that report right from a form fill. As I mentioned, let's go create the widget. I'm going to come here to widget and hit create widget and boom, we already have this awesome form that's been created. And while I can't add any questions to this, you can customize some other things. For example, this header image, which would be a great spot for your logo, which you can pop up at the top. You might have to play around with the dimensions here so that it shows up better. You can also upload a background image, which will put a border around the form. You can also change the color of the form if you want, which will change this background. Let's say we wanted blue there. The layout, this refers to the color of the words. So make sure you have layout selected and we'll leave the input background as white. This is going to be the background of those actual boxes, uh, but I prefer it white. So we'll leave it there. So let's try to keep that up how it just was. If you want to easily customize this, you can just go to dark mode and that's going to change a few things there. And then you can also change this headline at the top. I'm just going to leave it as is. Settings will come back to once we save this. Let's go ahead and just call this get your marketing report in seconds and hit save. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is embed this on the website where people are actually going to find it and submit their info. So I'm going to hit copy embed code and then put this wherever. It could be on a separate website to high level. I host my website inside of high level. So I'm going to go to my sub account and head to my test website here. Edit. Go ahead and add a row. Add an element, which will be a custom code. Go ahead and hit open code editor and I'm just going to paste. So that's the JavaScript for this. I'll hit save, save the funnel, and then you can hit publish if you're putting it out on domain. The purposes of this, we're just testing. So I'll hit preview and there we have our marketing report. Beautiful. So now that this is here, let's go ahead and fill it out and I'll show you what happens. So fill out my info. Now this is going to actually search Google Maps for this particular business. In this case, let's say it's a Himalayan salt cave spa and float. Great. So I put that in there. I'll put a test phone number in here and my email and hit submit. The next thing they're going to see is this. Now, in my experience, this takes about 60 seconds to load, maybe sometimes a little longer depending on the business, but it is fairly quick and beautiful. About 60 to 90 seconds later, we have this and I can hit view report. It looks like we have a pretty amazing audit here. All the same stuff that we saw earlier. This one does have the online reputation section. You can see Google My Business is here. Facebook is still loading, but in this case, the website one didn't load. And that's totally fine. This is just a jumping off point to have a conversation about what they can improve. And if for some reason the automatic report can't pull it, you could do a manual audit if that's something you're trying to sell them on. Now, the big question is, did they get this in their email? Did they get a text? What can we automate based on this? And the current answer is you can't automate anything based off of just this form fill. They could reach out to you here. Here, this is going to be the email that's in your agency settings under company details here. But what you can do is come back here to the prospecting section. If I click on this, the account info here is my email and my phone number that I submitted. So I could have someone on my team call the point of contact here. And as you can see, there's a bunch of pre-filled information here. If you do end up converting this client, it's going to be loaded into their account, which is super helpful. And in some cases, this report can also pull points of contact from LinkedIn or other places. And you can click
click on that link there and it's going to take you to that person's actual profile and you can connect with them, which is pretty sweet. Now, I know not being able to trigger automations based off of this isn't ideal, but I know for a fact that it is on the roadmap. Now, the other main question a lot of people have is can we customize the report that actually gets sent out? And the answer to that is yes and no. So if you are going to generate this manually and send it to the person, you can customize the sections before you send it. So I can come in here and say, okay, for example, there's no website performance on this one. So I'm going to remove that one and hit apply. And then if I go back here and I hit refresh, you can see there's no website performance anymore. So when I hit share report, I copy that link and send it over. They're not going to see that that didn't work in that case. Now that's the yes answer. The no answer is that you can't come in here and say, for example, I don't want anything related to SEO or website performance because I don't sell those features and I don't want to talk about them. Hit apply and that applies to all future reports. You have to customize them one by one before you send them out. And once you have all that done, you can go to analytics. You can see the number of reports generated, conversions to clients, lead generation, frequency, report views, et cetera, recent form submissions and have everything in here, which is very cool and view all the reports from this view. In addition to that, something to take note of is that if you go to reselling and you turn on resell prospecting, you can actually give this feature to your clients. I'm not sure why you would want to. Obviously, most local businesses aren't going to have a use for this, but if you're selling B2B, some clients really want this. And so you can come in and price this out a little bit extra. High level is going to charge you $29 per sub account to use this feature because it costs them quite a bit on the back end to generate these reports. And once you get that inside of a sub account, it looks just like this same one, except you don't have the analytics tab up here. You just have widgets and all of the other normal prospecting stuff here. Now, in my view, it's not a massive deal to have a couple of sections in the audit that don't relate exactly to what you're selling or that came up empty because it's going to be a good opportunity to say, hey, here's a referral partner or, or hey, let me dive into that manually so it can actually get some data on that for you. Again, the whole point here is to start conversations put a little bit of pressure on the pain where it needs to be. And of course, generate some awesome leads from your website directly from this. I'm super excited for the roadmap on this feature to be completed because we're going to be able to trigger things off of this and sub accounts and a bunch of other things. Be sure to check out the roadmap if you haven't already. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, you will definitely like this one where we went over a really cool feature that allows you to call every single lead as soon as they come in. And this is part of a series I'm doing in partnership with High Level called Did You Know, where we're going over some of these features that are so cool. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for the next videos.